Hi. <coughs> Hello. So, today is almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon and the only thing I've done is my makeup. I feel pretty accomplished about that. Um, so I'm going to show you how I curl my hair because I did that video like two years ago and I'm quite proud of it even though I sound like I have laryngitis in it but um <laughs> I decided it's time for an updated one and excuse me I have to put some lip gloss on I would love this lip gloss so much if it didn't have an SPF in it because I can taste the SPF and it drives me crazy anyways look at what a pretty color that is you can't even see it smells like marshmallows and unicorns, but it tastes terrible. I'm going to section off my hair just above my ears, so everything above my ears, and just put that in a bun. Now, because I have super long hair, it is very difficult to get my hair to hold um, a curl. So, I'm using a rather big curling iron. I think this is a one inch from Conair. This is on sale at CVS. I also really like my, um, I think this is a three quart, no, this is one and a half inch and this is one inch um, from Hot Tools. It's very versatile and I love it, but today I'm using this. And what I'm going to do is I've split my hair into two sections, and this is like the classical way that everyone curls their hair. Except that I'm not going to start here and roll that way. I'm going to start towards the middle of this shaft and twist and feed the hair through. So I give it a twist, I, I pull on the clamp, and I tug the hair through like so. That That is basically kind of how you curl your hair with a flat iron. I'll do a tutorial on that too, I guess. Um, but I prefer this to curl flat irons because no matter what I do, my flat iron curls always look like a little bow peep. So, yeah. Do do do. And then drop. So then it looks like a really pretty little curl. And it'll fall. I have I have this on the highest heat setting, by the way, on 25. So, oops. And now sometimes you'll do this where you'll jump the gun and everything will fall out of the clamp. And then it just looks like a mess. Actually, that looks okay. But I'm going to just go over it. Um, sometimes when you aren't paying attention you can feed the, the ends all the way through so that way they're not... I... It, you know what I mean. Anyways. <coughs> what was I saying? I don't know. Now taking down the next section of hair. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take everything from about my eyebrow, or the arch of my eyebrow, or so all that my temple, basically. So I'm working inch by inch up my hairline, up my head. Just brushing it out. So curling my hair, it, as I said in my other video, is it really, it just helps me keep calm. I don't know why. It's very therapeutic for me. It's like knitting. Um, and I just, I feel a little bit more like myself when my hair is curled. I feel a little bit more comp uh, confident. So, see how nice and loose that is? I like it. This is, I guess, kind of Kardashian hair a little bit. Um, except that I don't part my hair in the middle because my a my hair line is just kind of messed up it I'm because <laughs> I part my hair that way all the time it kind of is balding there and I just i my hair naturally falls that way and I look silly with the center part and I think that a side 
part is generally more flattering for, for most people. So, yeah. But you could totally do this with a center parting. It's exactly the same thing. Oh, and I didn't mention, but I'm curling away from my face. And I'm, and I'm using my MacBook, which is why all the letters are backwards. So, when you're on the right side of your head, you are going to turn, you're going to start with the clamp in front. And you're going to turn the curling iron clockwise that way. Just think like clockwise, and then on the left, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. If you do that, you're home free. Don't You don't even have to think. So now I have to decide how side party I want my side part to be. I think I'm going to leave it there. That seems all right. And now I'm going to take everything from here upwards. <laughs> really funny looking bun. Alright, so when I get to my bangs, now this isn't a problem if you don't have like shorter front bits. And these were bangs two months ago. They were up by my lip. Now they're that. Anyways, so this is the most difficult part of the whole operation because they're difficult to style. So I'm going to try to do that because I don't want really a curl in the front. What I'm trying to do is get like a, just a swoop so that they kind of tuck themselves back um, kind of behind my ear. And that requires a lot of maneuvering. Sometimes. Some other times. See like that? That's what I want. Just to kind of, it kind of just curls itself up. And then I'm going to wait for that to cool for a little bit. And so this... Huh? How dare you disobey me? So this is the finished product when you haven't done anything else to it. Um, there may be a couple of bits that have fallen out, like this one is kind of, I don't know what it's doing. There, now that looks better. So you can leave it like that. Um, what I typically do is after this is dried, or dried, after it is cooled, what I do is I rake my fingers through my hair like this, not from here, from underneath. That's, that is very important. Um, for some reason, you do it from the top. It it doesn't. Uh, it just you, you gotta you gotta take my word for it. I can't properly explain how that happens. Oh, 
Or you can brush it through with a round brush like this. Apologies, it has so much hair on it. Have you ever tried to get the hair off of a round brush? It's a lot hard to do. Um, you can also tease it at the root a little bit. That's typically what I do, but it's more in for the coming season to have not so volumized hair. So yeah, this is my completed, this is how I curl my hair every day. So now sometimes that will happen. When that happens, I just get some mousse or some spackle and clamp it to the side of my face. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if it was useful. And remember, keep calm and curl your hair. Bye everyone.